wearing glasses. He looks like me, I thought. This was another inappropriate reaction. But the photo left out of me at a funny time in my life. I had come to New York five years earlier to try to create a life for myself there. I had not created a life for myself there. <laughs> I had wanted to find the emerging writers and thinkers of my generation. I had found the sycophants, <laughs> careerists, <laughs> and media parasites <laughs> who were redefining mediocrity in the 21st century. <laughs> I had wanted to remain true to myself as a writer and also to succeed. I wanted to be courageous and merciless in defense of the downtrodden. And I wanted to be celebrated for it. This was a naive and puerile desire, and one that could not be realized. At least not by me. Not in this world. It could not be done without a facility and a taste for ingratiation that I lacked. It could not be done without first occupying a position of strength and privilege that I did not command. Because, as Jesus said, to him who hath more will be given, nor without being enterprising and calculating in a way that I wasn't. Because as Jesus went on to say, to him who hath not, even that which he hath will be taken from him. <laughs> it seemed to me that every kind of life, and even the extinction of life, was preferable to the one that I was living, which is not to say that I had the strength either to change my life or to end it. And then to be confronted by that face. 